I'm Clayton Schlag. My name is Thor. Hi, I'm Hillary Thompson. My name is Jason Herrera. Hi, I'm Jan. My name is Rodrigo. My name is Shanae Collins. I'm trans, non-binary, and a skateboarder. When I started skating, there was no queer representation in skateboarding. I didn't even know you could be gay and be a skateboarder at the same time. The only other gay people that I ever heard of were like Liberace or uh, I think it was like Greg Luganis, uh, the Olympic diver. We all lead by example, uh, you know, even when we don't think we are. DIY spots and I love skateboarding, but I could do without a lot of the toxic masculinity that comes in those spaces. Um, and I could do without the misogyny and the homophobia and transphobia. to be gay and to be queer. Celebrate yourself, be hyped to be that person. You are so special. You know you can be both. You don't have to be a skater and then like gay on the side. What's your girlfriend's name? And I was like, fuck. We're in the van right now. Like, I can't just come. I, you know what I mean? I'm not going to just be like, well, Michael is her name. Hi, this is Tara Jepson from Pave the Way Skateboards. I'm in Los Angeles, California. Miriam and I started Pave the Way in summer of 2016. We did it because we came out of like 90s activist culture in San Francisco and Brian Anderson had just come out publicly in skateboarding and so this felt like a big moment and like something that we should try and extend. We had known that there were so many people who were queer skateboarders and who were denied the opportunity to live authentically and to make their living. And so we thought if we just kept pushing to keep queer people and queer culture present and visible in skateboarding, then it would be undeniable and that way make things safer for whatever, for anybody to be there authentic selves in skateboarding and not have to worry about being beaten up by jocks. I saw the first love letter and I, I both loved it and I felt heartbroken that we weren't included and that's why we're adding this. Offer people 
the understanding and healing that we all deserve so that we can be all the parts of skateboarding that are so fucking amazing. Thank you. Okay, how do you start this shit? Uh, I'm Jason Ellis, professional skateboarder, or no, retired professional skateboarder, and openly bi guy. Yep, they exist too. <laughs> Coming out in skateboarding for me wasn't gonna happen. I was still a vert skater, so that made you a bit of a jock. I wasn't exactly sure who I was. And to be honest, I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about it because it was too painful to, to comprehend that I might be gay. Because I knew that if I was gay at the time and I had have admitted that, that I'd probably be out of skateboarding and it wasn't worth it to me. It's great to see that skateboarding has also embraced the community. Uh, it makes it a lot more approachable to me, to be honest. I feel like being involved in skateboarding again sounds incredibly attractive because I no longer feel like if I was to come back to it that I would be completely rejected. And I'm proud to be an openly bisexual man. I'm proud to uh, call myself a skateboarder. That's it. Shortly after coming out, I met my first queer skate pal, Kristen, who then took me out to a couple of the Queer Skate LA gatherings. It really just opened up my world and got to meet other queer people and be myself. for the benefit of their image. I think it's really cool that these conversations are starting to be had, but it really is the actions behind it. <laughs> 